Shalom, royal family. The class you are about to hear is taught by the Honorable Yudhe Wafe, Beit Nun Sophie Yudhe Wafe, many years ago. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Visit us at www.yahweh144000.com. Also, royal family, you can enroll in classes designed for the Godhead at www.universityofyahweh.org and also royal family and friends we want to share with you Yahweh's keys to riches and on that YouTube channel you can listen to Yahweh's daily word and keep up with the correct solar time each and every day we'd like to see you there as well. Go to Yahweh's Keys to Riches. It's in the description below so that you can join us there as well. Remember, when you get there, just like here, remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channels. All right, Royal Family, we look forward to seeing you there as well. Enjoy. See, I came in the tradition of the prophets. I am come in the tradition of all of God's messengers. See, Yahweh is so powerful, he doesn't have to come himself. He just sends an angel. He just sends one. And then Yahweh stands in the background. And he takes that one and changes the world. See, they are the type, and I'm the anti-type. They set a pattern, but I'm the fulfillment of all the patterns. And the proof is, you see me grow, but you can't explain it. You can't explain why I'm growing. I am growing in Miami and you can't see it. I, oh, don't you worry if I am or not. I am. I have thousands of closet Hebrews. That's, that's people that believe in what I'm doing that don't come to the building. You need to talk to the people and find out. You'll find out. And I'm getting stronger out there. You, you better conduct a poll like the FBI have been doing. They know I'm getting stronger. <laughs> By the day, I'm getting stronger. But don't you know that if, if God's man gets stronger, then don't you know the devil's getting weaker? <laughs> yeah. See, the devil been on top. I started on by myself on the bottom. So the more I come up, there's something else going on. <laughs> See, something else is going on now. Every time I gain one to become righteous, then the opponent of righteousness lost one. Every time I get a man to turn from his wicked bent, then the God of the wicked just lost one. And I'm so patient, I've satisfied the word one at a time. I don't have to have 10,000 in here. I'm satisfied to get one at a time. Watch me win, getting one at a time. Well, that seemed like that would take me forever. Don't you worry about it. I understand mathematics. See, I'm working mathematically, and I understand the science of system and order and mathematical progression. 
See, see I know when I get one, I, and I'm gaining, that one will become two. Oh, I'm going to win. See, and my two, since we're on the moon, we'll become four. My four will become eight. My eight will become 16. My 16 will become 32. My 32 will become 64. My 64 will become 128. They will become 156. And they will become 320. They become 624. Become 1248. You just watch me. I got the patience of the saints. So I'm patient. I see. I see the end. I know what the end is going to be. Short-sighted people will come and run because they can't see me as being so powerful. When are you going to get all the people? Don't worry about it. I'm getting them. You can't see that system of moral principles, method, or system, ethics, principles. Give me principles. Five principles. I've been teaching ethics all the time. How many know the book, the most famous book of ethics in the Bible? I taught it to you seven years ago. What is it? Proverbs. See, ethics teaches you the what? The right and the wrong. The goodness and the bad. And Proverbs shows you that picture. The book of Proverbs is the book of ethics. All right, give me principles. Principles. A basic truth, law, or assumption. Now hold it, hold it. A basic truth, law, or assumption. Now listen to that. Principles. I am teaching a system of moral principles. And a principle is what? A basic truth. True. Wait now. Write that up. A basic truth. You know what basic means? Fundamental. Foundation. Essential. The root of it. Elementary. The necessary. The required. <laughs> I'm teaching that kind of truth. And I have a system, I have a method, and an order of teaching you moral, basic, foundation, rudimentary, rudimentary, whatever you want to call it, essential truth. Foundation, the elementary foundation. That's that upon which everything else is built. All other truth is built on this. That makes me the original. Not a, but the original. Because I am teaching the foundation. Let that sink in. I'm teaching the rudimentary, elementary, essential, foundational truth. Now, if you build a building, the foundation is not sound, your building crumbles. Your house will fall down. So, it's like building a house on sand. Water comes along, ocean waves, things come in, sweep away your foundation, your house falls. Well, in America, 
this nation has to fall because America is not teaching the elementary, rudimentary, essential, required, basic foundation truth. As a result, the church isn't doing it either. And as a result, the whole is not teaching it either. Consequently, the boys grow up not knowing how to be a good father, a good brother, a good son, huh? and a good husband. He can't. He's minus the foundation. So he can't be a man. He can only be a male. He can't be head of the household. He can only holler. I'm the head! No, if you're the head, you don't have to holler. Your woman will respect you as head if you have the foundation, basic, required, elementary, essential, truth. And it means that because our homes, our mothers and fathers do not have this foundation, basic truth, based on ethics and morality, our daughters cannot become, our females cannot become a good daughter or a good wife, a good mother or a good sister. So now you have two people who marry each other are devils. Black devils, brown devils, red devils, yellow devils, white devils. Just You get married and, and, and you, you immediately are raising hell at each other. You claim to believe in the same religion, you claim to believe in the same God, but you're fighting and fussing and, and hurting each other and speaking harsh to one another. Why? Because you're without the basic foundation. You ignore it. You don't have the knowledge of the true God, the living God, the everlasting King. He's the one that's missing. You got the wrong God. Because the right God gives you the foundation. That's what I'm producing. Now you can put on white, and that does not mean you got the foundation of the ethical moral principle inside. So you can call my name and get a sister to marry you. Huh? And she thinks because you're calling my name that you for truth. And then after you satisfy your lust with the sister, hmm, then you, you want to drop my name and you want to become God over her. <laughs> it hurts when I teach like this, but boy, I, I'm, I'm telling the truth now. But you be speaking Yahweh Ben Yahweh to the sister until you satisfy your luck, and then all of a sudden you got a program. And all of a sudden, you no longer think about the sister's feelings. And you'll just speak your mind. And then you want to cry to me or somebody. I made a mistake. I think I made a mistake. <laughs> oh, glory. <laughs> but you should have asked me up front, not if it's all right if you do it, but should you do it? <laughs> See, some don't ask me, is this the person for me? They come and say, is it all right if I do it? What you want me to say, no? You believe all the rest of your life that I blocked you from something that was good for you. So I'll automatically say yes. Go right ahead. This is what you want to do. Do it. But you didn't ask my advice. You asked my permission. And I'll give you that all day long. Yeah, go ahead. I wonder why it didn't work out. You didn't ask me would it work out. You didn't ask me, would it work out? <laughs> you asked me, is it all right if we get together? Well, of course. 
What you want me to say? I'm not going to walk around and guard you people day and night. <laughs> Is this something you want to do? <laughs> Hallelujah way. That's not my subject tonight. My subject is a system of moral principles dealing with basic, elementary, essential, foundational truth. What I'm showing you is this will solve, my approach will solve all problems, period. There need to be no more wars, no more trouble, no more family breakdown, no more nothing, just peace. Now, if something wrong with a country that will outlaw a book that teaches ethics, the Bible, I mean, it's against the law for Proverbs to be taught. in the public school. And they ignore it in the colleges, in the universities. How can America continue? And she isn't continuing, as you can see. How can America help but fall when she puts the true and living God, the everlasting King, they outlaw him from the mind to the children. Check that out now. Listen, you hear it? Have you any idea what, you told me what basic is. Let's look at truth. Give me truth, baby. We're going to come back and get some more of that, uh, what word were you just on? Principle. You see, principle is in, incredible. Principle is basic, elementary, essential, required, foundation, truth. And that's not all the principles, that's just the introduction to principles. Now let's look at what we on now? True. Basic truth. Now this is what America has made against the law for the children in the public school to learn. Did you hear what I said? Yeah. America has made it against the law to learn ethics. Moral principles, basic, foundation, essential. Essential means required yes, sir. Yes, sir. for your nature, truth. Truth, give it to me. Truth, conformity to knowledge, facts. Wait a minute, wait a minute, hold it, hold it, hold it. America has made it against the law for us to conform to what? Ah. Knowledge. Yes, sir. Learn knowledge. But don't conform to it. You can learn something that's good, but don't conform to good. You're learning it right here. I'm giving it to you. I'm not making this up. This will be the same in your dictionary now. You just never thought to look it up because you never thought about ethics. And this is, this is coming about as a result of me teaching you ethics. Now you're getting a chance to look at why we're in the condition we're in as a people. See, I'm not concerned about America. I'm not concerned about white people. I'm concerned about my people's condition or mine. I'm showing you why we are divided against each other, hate each other, can't work together, and are in poverty and suffering and misery and want. Disease and suffering, early death, is because truth has been made against the law for us to learn. Absorb knowledge, but it's against the law for you to learn how to conform to what you learn. Conform means to practice. To go along with. Hmm? That your mind is in accord with, is in agreement with. Uh huh. Truth, conformity to knowledge, facts. 
wait a minute, now you got facts. We are taught it's against the law for us to go with the facts. It's against the law for us to conform to the facts. A fact, reality. My people are not allowed to learn their true history and their true culture and their true language. Every people on earth are allowed to learn these things but my people. Every child in the public school knows their history and culture, language, name, and land. But our children, we're the only ones that go to school, the public school, without that knowledge. If you see little Ortega in class, he knows right away that he is a Hispanic. Hmm? If you see a little Pierre in there, he knows he is French. And probably speaks some at home. Kaufman and Robert. Both of them know. One knows he's a German and the other one knows he's English. They get together and sell you everything. Both Kaufman and Robert's kids know that they run together and got their money together, but Kaufman knows he's German and Robert knows he's English. But your children don't. And you wonder what's wrong with your kid, why he wants to drop out. And why he hates school. If he does go to school and he's top ten, he has a white mind. He doesn't even like you. The shame of you. <laughs> True. Truth. Conformity to knowledge, facts, actuality. Actuality. Go ahead. Or logic. <laughs> Logic? See, if you had been taught ethics in school, then you could define logic for me. But it's, been a, it's against the law for you to learn logic. So you're not logistical in your thinking. You are illogical. You're the most illogical people on the planet Earth. You've been taught to hate logic and go with emotions. You follow leaders behind emotions, how they make you feel. They make you feel good. <laughs> so you go, you go to their meetings to feel good. To learn logic. Logic means something big. Let's check it out. How many of you already know what logic means? One. You looked it up? See if I ask you to stand up and give me a discord. Stand up and give me a lecture on logic. Are you ready? <laughs> See, if you believe in logic, you believe in me. If you don't believe in Yahweh, then Yahweh, you illogical. That's right. I mean, it's illogical to, to not believe in a man that's accomplishing the public and positive works that I've accomplished. That would be illogical. You'd be ignoring the basic facts. <laughs> Truth. Actuality. Reality. And it's illogical to not come and buy from me when I'm selling you the best for less. That's totally illogical. 
illogical for you to go up to somebody, I don't care what color they are, and pay more money for less quality. That's illogical. It makes no sense. It is unreasonable. Hmm? And so it would be illogical for me to buy okra from another man for twice the price that my brother can sell it to me. That's illogical. Logic, ethics, huh? facts, actuality teaches me that I've got to trade with my brother because he's got the best for less. So then we'll be a stress to each other. And to me, that's logical. To me, that's reasonable. To me, that makes sense. <laughs> but my people are the opposite. They'll go trade with their enemy. Somebody that talks mean and nasty to them. And pay twice the money that I'll charge him and be nice to him. <laughs> I'll give him a clean store. Well, why do my people not come in abundance? Because they've been trained and taught to be illogical, to hate logic. They've heard about truth and they've confessed to the fact, but they won't conform. Something inside him will say, I'm going, I'm just not going. Although I can help him make his car note, trading with me will help you buy your house. Trading with me will buy your baby some shoes and diapers and milk. Just trading with me. We'll put money in your bank account. And it would be logical to come to me. But we've been taught to hate logic. Truth. Logic. <laughs> The study of the principles of reasoning. Now, 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 see, here we are, right back to principles. See, see the circle you're already in already? Yes, sir. Ethics is a, simple, is a system of moral principles. Now, logic is what? The study of the principles. The study of principles. Ethics is a system of moral principles. Logic is a study of those principles. With what? The study of the principles of reasoning. Of reasoning. Now see, here we go again. We are so elementary in our thinking that we don't know what reason is either. Reasoning includes sound judgment. But then we don't know what judgment is. <laughs> See how tough my job is? You have to admit, I have a difficult job trying to teach the people that have no knowledge of the words that I'm using.